a traditional quilt layout has blocks with sashing or little strips of fabric in between them. When you're choosing the sashing fabric, a popular choice is to use the same fabric that's used as the background in the blocks. But you can also use a different fabric. And if you're choosing a different fabric, this little tip will make it easy to see what it's going to look like before you have it all stitched together. So to do that, take the fabric that you're thinking about using and open it up um, with as much space as you can have. And then lay out your blocks. So these are just solid pieces of fabric, but it gives you the idea. And then you can see what they're going to look like with that fabric. So this, it matches the background, but it is kind of boring. So I would try something else. So this is something useful. You can even take your blocks into a quilt store and then lay it out on different fabrics in the store. So this blue is uh, more interesting than the white, but I don't think I'm going to use that. And when you're trying fabrics for uh, sashing, throw in a couple wild cards, throw in things that you think are going to look weird and wild because sometimes you get a really nice surprise. So this red is something that I just randomly pulled off. And I don't think I'm going to go with that, but it doesn't look bad. It is an interesting look. And this teal, this is the one that I decided I'm going to go with. The teal seems to blend with the colors in the blocks. And so I'm going to go with this one, but you might like one of the other ones better and that's fine. So use this trick to audition fabrics for sashing before you get all your pieces cut out. For more quilting tips and tutorials, be sure to check out Eva's Studio. Mm -hmm.